It's N4 Military Orders Week here at Corvus Belly, and we have some epic books to give away. Drop your comments using the hashtag MilitaryOrdersN4 on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook for your chance to win a signed copy of the N4 rulebook with the exclusive Octavia Grimm's Daughter miniature. Good luck, and keep connected. Welcome, this is Carlos Bostre from Corvus Belly Studios and behind the camera is Connie, Super Star Wars or Admiral making this video for you and this is the beginning of the Military Orders Week, okay? This is the first video of a series of videos that we will be publishing during the week, okay? Theme week all about this particular sectoral army of Pano, okay? So, this is the most important video, the unboxing, let's go! This box that I have right here in my hands is the new Pano Military Orders Action Pack. A box with 9 miniatures and around 275 points for beginning with Pano with the Military Orders. There are many ways to begin your Pano army, but the cool one in 2021 is this one, okay? Make this be the foundational stone of your cathedral of an army, okay? So, shall we take a look at the contents? Shall we the look at the assembly of every single miniature and how do they look that were superbly painted? This is what this video is about. Let's go. So, here I am, and I open the box. It's a box, it's pretty much like the Star Armada box, which was the last special box that we released with the arrival of M4, okay? A few months ago, and now, we open the inside box and here we have all the pieces and the bases, okay? So let's go one by one. Every army needs an essential light infantry unit profile and with this new upgraded, okay, and, and, and updated military orders 2021 and 4 uh, sectoral army, we have here a new troop profile that, that you will see on detail during the week. These are the coadjutor crossiers, okay? And these uh, are three miniatures that come inside this action pack. Here is the assembly, okay, of this light infantry, okay? Basic soldiers, okay? Basic uh, unit profiles, some kind of a uh, uh, night theme fusiliers, okay? Or new versions or similar to the order sergeants, okay? And there you have two females and one male figure. When you assemble them together and put them with their weaponry, okay, and paint them incredibly well, you will have this result, okay? These are the new coadjutor crossiers, okay? We have two with combi rifle and one with the Spitfire. And you will also notice that that guy is carrying with a visor because he will have access to multi-spectral visor level two. Essential. A basic core infantry for the army and also very flexible for making fire teams. Supporting this army, holding the banner of San Lazarus with pride, okay, we have a new unit that has been also introduced with Operation Calstrom previous battle pack. It's a new version, female version of the San Lazarus infirmary, this time carrying not just the boarding shotgun but a whole flag with her, okay, because this looks very medieval, very nice theme, okay, and is one of the most uh, appealing miniatures, good-looking miniatures of the box. This is the new, take a look at that, San Lazarus Infirmarer for the military orders. Look at that. Supporting your units, remember that this is uh, like a doctor that can heal your units during the, the battle and looks this awesome. Pretty much for an epic shot, okay? Another already known unit profile from the military orders, we're talking about here the Pano Black Friars, okay, we have a new miniature for you, this is how she looks like, because this time it's a female Black Friar, okay, and it's a very flexible unit profile that carries many different loadouts, and this is a new, brand new loadout for the military orders 2021, okay, we're talking about here the Black Friar with heavy rocket launcher, okay, multi spectral visor level 2 and heavy rocket launcher, also very flexible when making fire teams and remember that the black flyers are also very useful in the battle because you can also bring them with biometric visor and stuff like that so there you go a new black flyer pano for military orders okay bring me your attention right now this might be the best miniature from the box and it's not a heavy infantry okay we're talking here about very very classy and elegant light infantry just two pieces okay 
<laughs> and the base, okay? This is a new unit profile from military orders. This is a guy meant to be the lieutenant of the army totally. This is the knight commander. Look at that. Sometimes, sometimes you just need a good pose and a good presence in the battlefield. Look at that. It's a new unit profile from military orders. The knight commander, okay? And he's here just to bring style and, and presence. There's nothing... Uh, over the top with him, no antennas, no flags, nothing. He's just there with his sword. And look at how awesome he looks like. Beautiful miniature, beautiful for painters, I would say. Super elegant guy. Knight Commander. Okay, classic unit here for the Pano Military Orders. One of the absolutely classic unit profiles. This is the most Galician flavor <laughs> unit profile from Pano that we're talking about here. The Santiago Knights that we have finally here in a new... 3D version updated to the M4 standards, okay, we're talking about, okay, protectors of the pilgrims, okay, the Santiago Knights, uh, protecting the road to Santiago, okay, we're talking about a classic unit profile that has never seen 3D miniatures, and we have here a new design, and this is the hacker loadout of the Santiago Knights, this is how he looks like, and he is bringing, you know, the hacker support to the table for this new updated 2021 military orders action pack. Moving on, we have here one of the most powerful knights profile of the whole Pano army. We're talking about here the Knights of Justice that are here arriving with a male figure carrying the Spitfire. Okay, we're talking about this figure here with is just four pieces and the base. And when you assemble together, we have here a male imposing, impressive Knight of Justice to bring justice to the board, obviously and carrying the banner of Pano and the military orders to victory. And finally, the biggest battle brother here of the whole box, we're talking about the new updated and upgraded Knight of the Holy Sepulchre, which has become a Silhouette 5 figure with a bigger base, okay? And look at the big chunks of metal that compose the whole figure. Look at these arms, okay? These arms have as much metal as, as some female figures from the range, okay? When you put together all these pieces and the antennas then you will assemble this beast of a guy look at this yeah, the new knight of the holy sepulcher for the military orders okay almost attack almost attack yes allow me to put here next to him a normal silhouette 2 miniature just to take a look at the improvement at the super size <laughs> on a steroids <laughs> totally version of the knight of the holy sepulcher this new unit profile totally changed and updated for the military orders but as usual corvus belly has not just put together a lovely action pack okay we have made a bundle okay there are extra products and you can collect them all together so one becomes free for you okay so let's take a look here at the highly expected motorized order of montesa Back in the day, the Knights of Montesa were a special unit profile with mechanized deployment in shock and acondicionamento army. Forget about that. At some point, they become motorized and they get access to a bike. This is the pieces that will assemble the bike. And this is the pieces of the actual Knight uh, Rider. Knight Rider. <laughs> and when you put them together and when you paint them beautifully, it looks like this. Okay, this is the look of the highly expected Montesa Knight, now with the motorized order of Montesa. Lovely figure, and there's also the dismounted version, because this comes in a box with the mounted and dismounted version, okay? Let's take a look at the assembly here. These are the three pieces that compose, that, that assemble the dismounted version of the Montesa Knight, okay? And here is the painted model. Take a look at them. And this is the way he looks when he gets off the bike, okay, in order to have a closer approach. Maybe you have to go through a gate, I don't know, okay? <laughs> Depends on the, on the terms of the battle. Expect them to see in the battlefield soon. And finally, the most special miniature from the bundle, this new unit slash character, okay, that is arriving now because of the arrival of the upgraded and updated military orders for Pano. We're talking about someone that the Aristea players already know, Father Inquisitor Mendoza, that is this knight, this veteran from the Paradiso Wars, that is uh, also a character in Aristea, okay. These are the pieces that assemble the figure, okay, just three pieces. 
And when you put them together and paint them beautiful, looks like this. This is Father Inquisitor Mendoza, okay? People already know this character from Aristella. Now it's going to have its own unit profile for Infinity, okay? And it's going to be playable in the military orders and goes oh, totally with that theme of setting everything on fire, okay? Flama Veritas, okay? Because this is kind of a character that is a religious fanatic in Infinity Fluff, but maybe it's just a propaganda set, okay? Maybe it's just, just what you see in the media. And maybe the real soldier is just a stuntman sent to the front, okay? There are many layers in the fluff of this character. This will be now playable in Infinity with the military orders. And when you put them all together, this is the military orders 2021 bundle from Corpus Belli. If you have not yet begun your Pano army, this is the best way to do it today, okay? <laughs> this has been the unboxing video, not just of the Military Orders Action Pack, but the whole, whole bundle, including the Montesa Knights and Father Inquisitor Mendoza. This is the new way of beginning with Pano in 2021 with M4, okay? Stay tuned, because during this week we're going to publish flap video, design video, unit profiles video, battle report, and finally having an incredible studio update by the end of the week with big announcements and stuff like that. So, hey, what do you think about this new box? Do you like the look of the miniatures? Do you like the new approach? Do you like the, the, the having armies suddenly upgraded and being, becoming more powerful? Do you like Pano? Okay. So, drop your comments below on the comment section in Facebook, Twitter, or here on YouTube, okay? Including always the hashtag MilitaryOrdersM4. And thank you so much for your attention. This has been Carlos Bostia, and this beautiful video has been edited and filmed by Connie, your super Star Wars or Admiral from Other Space. Hey, stay connected and pay attention because we have a lovely theme week for you. Thank you so much for your attention. Bye.